This video explains Intel Smart Response technology and how to use it on applicable HP notebook computers. Intel Smart Response technology balances the benefits of a mechanical hard drive and a solid state drive to speed up your notebook computer's performance and extend the life of the battery. Smart Response technology harnesses the quick processing power of a solid state drive for faster software performance while still using the mechanical hard drive for file storage. HP notebooks that ship with Smart Response technology meet the following requirements. Second generation Intel Core processor, Intel HM67 or greater chipset, a mechanical hard disk drive, a solid state drive with at least 18.6 gigabytes of storage, BIOS with SATA mode set to RAID, Rapid Storage Technology Software version 10.5 or later, Microsoft Windows 7, 32 or 64 bit versions. Go to hp.com to learn more about the HP computers that support this feature. The Intel Smart Response technology is a feature of Intel's Rapid Storage technology. Smart Response manages how data is accessed used, and stored between a standard mechanical hard drive and a solid-state drive within the same computer. Standard mechanical hard drives are great for storage, but they typically consume more energy and do not process data requests as quickly as solid-state drives. Intel Smart Response technology allows you to use the mechanical drive to save your files, but use the solid-state drive to work with the files. The Smart Response technology remembers what software applications and files you use the most and then places those files into a memory cache on the solid state drive for quick access. This allows the applications you use most to open and respond much faster than if they were being accessed directly from the mechanical drive. Most HP notebooks that ship with the Intel Smart Response technology have this feature enabled by default. You don't have to make any changes as the feature will be working as soon as you first set up the computer. To verify if Smart Response is enabled on your computer, click Start and then All Programs. Select the Intel folder and then click Intel Rapid Storage Technology. If a user account control message appears, Click Yes. The hard drives are listed under the Storage System view. The Solid State Drive shows both the total capacity of the drive and a subsection of the drive listed as a 19GB cache volume with a RAID 0 setting. This is the drive volume that Intel Smart Response uses to speed up software usage. The mechanical hard drive is listed as the internal system disk and shows the hard drive capacity. If the Smart Response Technology setting is enabled on this drive, it will say Accelerated. Note, when Smart Response is enabled, you cannot use the 19GB cache volume as storage for personal files. To review or change the Smart Response settings, click the Accelerate button. You will see a statement that confirms whether or not Smart Response Technology is enabled. Under Acceleration Configuration, you can change the acceleration mode and enable or disable acceleration on the disk drive. By default, HP has the acceleration mode set to maximized. This allows for the fastest smart response speeds. To learn more about acceleration modes, click the question mark icon next to the mode. If you do not want to use Smart Response technology, you can disable it by clicking Disable Acceleration. A window opens asking you to confirm you want to disable acceleration. Click Yes. Depending on the cache and solid state drive size, it may take a few minutes for the feature to be disabled. Once acceleration has been disabled, you can use the full capacity of a solid state drive for file storage. If you would like to re-enable Smart Response, under Acceleration Configuration, click Select Device. Select a disk drive from the drop-down menu and then select either Enhanced or Maximized Mode. Click OK. 
Smart Response is now re-enabled. For details on the Intel Rapid Storage technology, review the Intel help files that are available in the application. Thank you for viewing this video. For more help with HP products, go to hp.com forward slash support.